Hey guys, it's Eric here and with me is Free Stick. And on our first episode of Tech Insights, we'll be delving into the world of technology, specifically the company that powers billions of devices every year, MediaTek. And funny enough, even the devices that our viewers are watching this video on is probably powered by MediaTek and many people might not even realize that. Do you remember your first MediaTek device? Yeah, I think it was back in 2013. I just got my first Android smartphone which was Techno Phantom A. I had played around with the Techno M3 shortly before and I was impressed because the phone was just 15,000 Naira and it ran Temple Run so well back then. I remember how upset I was shortly after I got the Phantom A because Techno released the Phantom A Plus mm. with quad core CPU at the same price. I was just so, <laughs> wow. Um, for me, I learned about MediaTek from tech blogs while researching for a mobile phone review video, right? That's what we do, you know. Today, they are the world's fifth largest global fabulous semiconductor company. I think that's a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there. they are behind a wide variety of devices, not just smartphones. We are talking about smart TVs, ARM-based Chromebooks, tablets, streaming devices, smart speakers, mm. voice assistant devices, and so much more. And here's the jaw-dropping number. They power more than 2 billion connected devices every single year. That number means that somewhere in everyone's home, there is a tiny media tech yeah. chip. It's like they are the invisible hand behind all of our gadgets, right? From the smartphone in your pocket to the voice assistants you talk to, that Siri and Google, they are all likely powered by MediaTek. They are all about keeping us connected, whether at home, at the office, at work, or on the go. So there are people who think that MediaTek is a range of chipsets in and of itself, and it shows from the comments that they leave when they find out that the flagship that they've been expecting, they've had their eye on, is powered by a MediaTek CPU. And if this is you and you're watching this video, you cannot be further from the truth. There are levels to these things and just because we use MediaTek powered devices like both of us does not mean that your phone can do everything mine can at the same pace. You guys know from my videos that I use, it. <laughs> <laughs> I use a MediaTek powered device. This Oppo Find N2 Flip that you guys always ask me about uses a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus CPU, which is a flagship CPU. For me, the MediaTek Dimensity series was an eye opener because they are flagship chips. Many people do not know that MediaTek, you know, they produce flagship processors, but the Dimensity series for MediaTek are actually flagship processors and they could handle everything from high end gaming to AI like a champ and even score high on benchmarks like Antutu and Geekbench. And I, I I'm not a big fan of benchmarks, but I think it took benchmark scores for people to be convinced that MediaTek chips are now like proper flagships. This happened like years ago, so now people are no longer in doubt and all that stuff. With my phone, like I didn't think that it was going to run slow and to be honest, my experience so far has been very, very smooth. I only have good things to say about how the phone runs. This is a genuine flagship, guys. <laughs> okay, what, what about the MediaTek um, companion? I think that's what it's called. Do you have hands on experience with it? <sighs> I wish I did. I've been watching reviews about HP Chromebook X360 13B, which is powered by the MediaTek Companion 1200 chip. And to be honest, that is a lot of power for a Chromebook. Perhaps for people who wish to run Android games on their Chromebook, because they would actually be maximizing the chipset. Well, I think it's better to have more and not need it than to have less and need more, right? <laughs> There's also the not so mainstream media tech genuine making waves in the world of IoT and it seems like media tech has got platforms for everything from healthcare to even smart cities. And let's not forget media tech Pentonic. These chips are ruling the smart TV world with a massive 60% worldwide market share, which is about 2 billion MediaTek powered mm. TVs around the world. And the funny part is, the TV owners don't even think about these things. If it works, it works. <laughs> Only recently I found out that my Wi Fi router was powered by MediaTek Philogic with support for Wi Fi 6, 6E, and Wi Fi 7. It is understandable that these numbers and letters confuse people. All we know is that the internet speed is fast and our page is open. To be honest, I don't even know my Wi Fi router chipset, much <laughs> less a lot of other things that you said. But now let's talk about GPU because I know that gamers are watching. And I hope serious gamers have heard about MediaTek Hyper Engine 6.0 with ray tracing and unmatched GPU fusion rendering. It's all about that split second difference that matters. We recently saw hardware based ray tracing which makes smartphones run PC games smoothly and I'm glad that we get to enjoy that on Android phones soon. Mm. Imagine playing the PC version of Resident Evil 4 
on your phone. That would be <laughs> sick. That would be <laughs> sick. And I love the fact that MediaTek have partnered with NVIDIA to further serve the automotive market, which essentially is the tech that runs your cockpit or dashboard systems, whatever you want to call it, right? So we are talking about next-gen digital cockpit and infotainment cabins powered by MediaTek Diversity Auto. And of course, NVIDIA's expertise in GPU and AI software will make for an interesting conversation. Integrating new NVIDIA GPU chipset into the MediaTek Diversity Auto platforms provides the most advanced AI connectivity and maybe computing capabilities for next generation smart cars. I just want to drive a car that is smart and futuristic. <laughs> Hopefully it's affordable. <laughs> you know, because just last month they announced their collab with Meta Lama 2 yeah, to yeah, enhance yeah. the on-device generative AI in edge devices. And we can expect Lama 2 based AI applications to become available for smartphones powered by the next generation flagship XOC scheduled to hit the market by the end of the year. We've come to the end of this episode. I hope you've learned a thing or two about the chipset powering devices in your home. And if you know your tech, engage with us on social media. The links will be down in the description. And before I sign out, Praise, do you have anything to say to the viewers? Yeah. So guys, thanks for tuning in to Tech Insights today. Stay tech savvy and until the next episode, peace. peace.